Yes, hello Ray Troopers and friends. Welcome to the province of Bohol. So we're now traversing the road from Balilihan Bohol to the town of Patuan. And this is the fastest way if you want to go from here in if you're from the city and from Tagbilaran City and going to the uh, central part of Bohol, this is uh, I believe the fastest way. I'm not really sure if it's it's the shortest, but it's the fastest way. I'm not sure about the distance, but this I believe is, is the fastest way because there's not too many uh, cars flying along this route since this is, you know, not too many passenger buses um, take this route. And um, right now, we're driving an automatic Toyota car. It's such a, um, a nice car because uh, it's a, it's basically a, a, an SUV, so it's good for family. So, maganda siya since uh, hindi mo medyo mafeel yung untuk-untuk sa daan. But um, basically, yung mga kalsada sa Bohol, most, most provincial roads are already concreted. So, hindi po kayo mahirapan if you're touring the province. Since most of the roads here are concrete on the coast. So, this is basically, I mean mostly, the new projects are part of the Build, Build, Build program of President Rodrigo Duterte. Yes, I really enjoy traversing this road since it's it's like you know if you want to learn how to drive well and enjoy really the drive you should take this uh, road from Balilihan to, um, to Batuan so if you're from like Tagbilaran city and you know even if you go to like Sevilla or Bilar there are access roads from Balilihan so you can actually take that routes and yes Passed by a video okay video okay shop. <laughs> video okay shop so it's a it's a hot day today but you know the weather now is very erratic like it's it's too hot in the morning then suddenly it rains in the afternoon so we have a really cool weather here in Bohol it's one of the coolest province in the Philippines because it's more fun in Bohol Actually, the advantage of driving an automatic car, if especially if um, if you're just new in driving, I think you should start with an automatic car because you don't have to change gears all the time. Suave lang siya. You just have to step on the brakes and uh, pang gasolina niya. Yes. So, wala masyadong iniisip. Especially if you're a busy kind of person, like a businessman or something. So it's, it's, it's good to be driving an automatic car. But if you like, uh, or, or if you like to race, race and you know, just test really the engine of your car, it's better to get the manual. Because if you, you like driving, it's better to manual. Eh. Because you can test the driving skills, it's uh, you know, the, the, the changing the gears and all. And, um, it's not boring yung ride if uh, manual yung sa mo. You don't get sleepy during the drive. But then again, for new drivers or if you're still learning, so it's better na you practice with uh, the automatic. Kaso naman in the maintenance, I think it, it's more costly to maintain an automatic car. Kasi sa mga systems niya and uh, Yes, and like the manual, parang mas mabilis siya in terms of maintenance. So yun lang naman ang basically the difference. And if you go to the market, if you buy an automatic car, mas mahal siya syempre. And right now, may mga hybrid cars na rin eh. 
like Toyota they already have Yun, even Hyundai they have hybrid cars na pwede siyang automatic pwede namang manual so every now and then nag -e evolve naman yung car industry and I'm not really sure when during this uh, crisis the pandemic kung okay pa rin po ba yung, ano, yung sales ng mga sasakyan but I think but I think um, they were able to cope naman siguro especially na very strict yung mga regulations sa motorcycle diba sa mga riding in tandem diba? so basically siguro mas mas dumami yung gumagamit ng sasakyan um, during the lockdown no? during the quarantine kay if lockdown naman hindi ka naman pwedeng umalis but uh, for those who are working talaga you are forced to really drive your car so in it in in effect parang mas mas uh, dumadami yung gastos diba of course spending for gasoline and um, yes, in terms of gasoline, then um, one consideration if you're buying a car is yung gas, yung fuel consumption, yeah. So if I were you, if you have the budget, um, you can go for cars na diesel, because in the in the in the long run, mas cheaper yung fuel, uh, uh, ano mo, uh, expenses, so makakasave ka sa gas, uh, fuel. So there's a uh, economy. Kasi mas mura ang diesel, di ba, kumpara sa gasoline. Sa, sa gasoline. So yun, uh, those are basically the things that you need to consider when buying your first car or you're buying another car. So yung your skill, so you have to, to decide if it's going to be manual or aut automatic. And then secondly, if you're gonna go with um, yung gasolina or diesel na cars, Kasi yun nga, if diesel yung car, mahal siya, mahal, mas mahal yung mga cars na diesel, yung variant ng diesel nila. But uh, in the long run naman, if you're, you're planning to really keep the car for long, longer time, so it's better to go for diesel kasi mas mura siya, makakasave ka sa fuel. And then lastly is yung, you have to decide kung gaano kalaki yung car. Kasi impractical naman if you're only like, you don't have kids, you don't have lots of kids tas bibili ka ng malaking sasakyan parang I think it's impractical for if, if kayo lang naman yung gagamit but if you're a big family you have to go for the SUVs the yes the SUVs like sa Toyota yung mga SUV nila yung mga Innova ganyan at least mas mas malaki yung capacity but if dalawa lang kayo like mag-asawa lang or if you're single so you just go for a sedan or a crossover yung maganda yung crossover din ng Ford ah uh, yung Ford Echo Sport ganda din yun um, and then if if budget budget muna you can go for a hatchback or yung mga yung mga subcompact like ng Hyundai Eon which was my first car and then you can check the video when I got that car I think it's it's getting nearly 50,000 views on, on YouTube and by the way, yes, um, to my subscribers on Cebu Boho Cars. Um, unfortunately, I was not able to upload uh, more videos on about cars since uh, the lockdown. And then I was focusing more on my real estate YouTube channel that's Cebu Boho Homes. Hope you subscribe as well. And yes, hopefully um, in the coming weeks or months, I will be able to upload more uh, videos about cars, reviews. So at least if you're planning to get another car or buy your first car, you will have an idea on what to select. And we'll be test, I will be test driving more cars because uh, maganda talaga for test driving buhol eh, because of the roads. Maganda. So that's it for now since uh, I'm tired of talking now. Um, we're almost near our destination. So that's it um, friends and investors, Ray Cheapers and friends. Thank you for subscribing and hope you stay safe during the whole time of this pandemic and always wear um, masks in public places. I'm not wearing masks now, although we have a lot of masks here because I'm talking and uh, we're just inside a car. And then um, please make sure to, pra to practice social distancing and just obey the regulations of the government and hopefully we get the vaccine soon. So we'll be going back to our new normal lives. So that's it guys, this is Emon Ray for my channel on YouTube, this is uh, Cebu Bohol Cars, thank you very much, bye and welcome once again to Bohol.